welcome back. In a moment, Joe McAldry is going to perform his new single, but first, I've got some more questions for Michael. Oh. Michael, when you worked Hi. in Edinburgh at the Edinburgh Festival, yes. did you work in that tiny little room in the assembly rooms, the Wildman Suite? Oh, the, uh, mine was smaller than that. Oh, you chose... Oh, no, that I was a the... wardrobe, that one. No, well, that, this, that, that's all right. That's about 67. <laughs> I did the, uh, the attic in the Pleasance, which is literally an actual... I know it. it, it's used for storage most of the year. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I did my show in there, and it was... Uh, yeah, so I had about 40 people, sometimes, well, sometimes none. I did a show for, like, none. In fact, when I went the first time, my pre-sales were one. I had mm. one ticket sold, <laughs> and, which is quite depressing, but even more depressing when you consider it was a buy one, get one free deal. Oh, <laughs> so the, the one person couldn't even find another person for free <laughs> to join him to see my show in an attic. Isn't it soul-destroying, <laughs> though? I mean, I had yes. to flog ice cream in the yeah. assembly room to it, try and drag is. the audience yeah, it's, in. It's, Full it's... drag, you know, it was a, a nice... Yeah. I mean, really was. And it, yeah. What made you stick at it, you know, when you have tiny little audiences like that? What made you think, oh, I'm going to carry on with this? Well, I, it's what I've always wanted to do, and I thought yeah. that I could do it. I just didn't know how to do it, so I just kept working it, trying to work it out. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I just kept plugging away. I mean, yeah. I, thought, I, th I thought I could do it. Sometimes people would, every once in a while, they'd have a really good experience and everybody yeah. would laugh very hard. And, and it was just, if I could just repeat that, but I couldn't. Yeah. But then it would come again, so it just I kept flirting yeah, with success, yeah. and then finally I sort of cracked it. But the Royal Variety was your big break, wasn't it? And they're the worst yeah. audiences yeah. under the sun. Well, that's sun. where I end the book. I end the book on sort of my break, having you know all the struggles and everything, and then yes, um, the Royal Variety was my big break. I've never been particular. I, I like the Royal Family, but I'm not like a massive royalist. Yeah. But boy, when that gig went well, I didn't half belt out the national anthem at the end. Oh, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about my career. I'm... God <laughs> save our great <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a wonderful night. And it was a Charlie, Prince Charles, that night. It, it was, was Prince Charles. Who yeah. I've always liked Prince Charles. Yeah. Ever since I saw him on the TV. I don't even know why he was said it, but I was a kid. And because he's, he's royal, he has to be posher than everybody else. And he said spaghetti bolognese in a way that only royalty can say. <laughs> and I've loved him from that moment. He went, spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> I thought, I've got, you've got to love this guy. <laughs> Um, I'd love to try and get him to say it. It's going to be obviously quite taxing. Um, but yes, yeah, so Prince Charles was there, and uh, you know, the, the rest is uh, well, history. history, but not in the book, because that's where it ends. Uh, will there be a volume two? You have to do a volume two. Well, I did find writing it that writing, I wrote way beyond the point that I stopped the book, but yeah. I just found writing about sort of having success is not nearly it's, as funny exactly as or as interesting there. as, yeah. as you know, uh, stealing £50 notes and <laughs> being told that your shit smell by your grandmother. <laughs> so um, I much preferred the early years. Well, look, you... And so did you, because I've heard you talk about your book. I loved it, you know, like we're in the Vauxhall yeah. Tavern, slapping yeah. around in the yeah. back of a van in Halifax and all this yeah. caper. At the time, I hated it, We've but had it had very rep... similar We parts. have, haven't we? <laughs> we have. Well, look, you play... I mean, he plays... you play these massive venues now, Wembley and me, all these guys. Me gaps. and Joe, we were all over the big venues. I know. <laughs> <Me and Joe. laughs> it's still me on a, on a baby sham crate Joe in the corner no of the pub. Joe is perfect, <laughs> isn't he? Isn't he? Isn't he? No, you are, though, Joe. Don't put the pressure on now, all right? Oh, yes, and people will be singing later. <laughs> well, we've got a clip of you here at Wembley. <laughs> Michael, it's really nice to meet you. Yeah, it's Thanks nice for coming pleasure. on the show. Nice to meet you too. Good luck with the book and Thanks huge all. success with your career, yeah? Thank May you, you rain and rain and run Yay. and run. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please, let's see it. Mr <laughs> Michael McIntyre, come on. <laughs> OK. It's time now for a young man with a beautiful voice. As you said, he's no perfect, no perfect. isn't he? He really is. Millions of <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it. Come on, for Joe McElroy. <laughs> Joe, well done, <laughs> Pim. That was fabulous. <laughs> What's happened, Michael? So, <laughs> shy little Joe off the X oh, Factor. Super. <laughs> super. I don't, I don't believe you would ever shy Joe. You often call in your neck of the woods. Danny. Oh. Danny, <laughs> aren't you, Pim? Come on, let's hear it again. <laughs> singer Russell Watson is the subject of Piers Morgan's life stories tomorrow at 10. After the news next, it's our raunchy comedy. American Pie presents Bandcamp.